Hi, this is Mark from Code Asian, and welcome to the Getting Started Guide for Tortoise SVN. This is part one of two where I explain some basic concepts to get you rolling with Tortoise. If you haven't done so already, please navigate to the tortoisesvn.net page and download the latest version of Tortoise, and here you'll find the installer files. So please go ahead and do that if you haven't done so already. Flicking back to Code Asian, grab the SVN access URL from the projects page and copy that. Also for the purpose of this demo, make sure you enable email notifications. So click on services, email notifications, and make sure they're enabled here. Tortoise is integrated into your Windows File Explorer. To check out your project, choose a location, right click anywhere, SVN Checkout, and paste in the URL I copied earlier. Click OK. and it's checked out. A good practice to start off with is setting up your folders for your trunk, branches and tags. This is useful when we get to branching and merging in our next video. We strongly recommend you set up your repository in this way. So first, let's create the trunk. This is for your main life product. And then we create branches. This is where you write new features without disturbing the precious live trunk. And finally tags. A tag is just a snapshot in time for a project. So let's add those. And commit. Log message and OK. And there's your overall layout for your main repository. Let's try adding a file. First enter the trunk folder, since this is a new project. Create a text file, for example. Open it up. Enter some text, save it. By default, Subversion will not recognize new files, so you need to actually add them to Tortoise. So let's go ahead and add. Notice the red exclamation mark here. This denotes that this file has not been saved to the remote Cartesian server. So let's go ahead and do that by using the SVN commit option. Enter a log message, click OK. Congratulations, you've just saved your first file to the remote Cartesian server. Notice also the green tick here, meaning that this file is in sync with the remote side. Next, let's edit a file. I've already got the same file open. I'm going to make some changes. Save it. Exit. Notice the red exclamation mark here. SVN commit. Enter a log message and click OK. Now you can view the commit message that was generated. One of these will be generated each time either yourself or your colleagues commit to this repository. You can view a summary on the Code Asian project page. Or for a more detailed view, use View VC. Click on the Subversion link, click Browse, and you can view more details about this particular file. Okay, we've covered some of the very basics, but what about if your colleagues make some changes? How do you sync those changes to your local workstation or laptop? To demonstrate, I've checked out the same repository in a different sandbox on my PC. So flicking over there, I'm going to open up the file, make some changes, save that, commit, now flicking back to my original sandbox. To update those changes, I simply right click and click SVN update. Wait for it to finish. Okay. Now your file is in sync with the rest of your teammates. Performing regular updates throughout your working day is a good practice to get into. This will ensure you have minimal to no conflicts moving forward. Congratulations, you just collaborated with your teammates. Okay, let's try deleting a file. This is really simple. Right click, Tortoise SVN, delete. 
and of course commit. And you've successfully deleted a file. So far so good. Let's say we made a mistake and want to roll back to an older version of a file. This is the great thing about subversion because you can roll back at any point in time. So to roll back, I simply right click, show log. This will show me a list of all the previous revisions. I simply select the, the revision I want to roll back to, right click, revert to this revision. Yes, click OK, OK again. And of course, SVN commit to push the changes to the server. You're now ready to rock and roll with Tortoise SVN. Watch out for our next Tortoise video, which will explain some more advanced features like branching and merging and locking for binary files. Thanks for watching.